Okay, this is what the breaking news looks like this morning. Everyone, welcome to the program. This is your business morning, the 25th of January, Thursday, here in Nigeria. Now we have the story. The Nigeria's National Assembly has passed the bill that will make the Nigerian stock exchange become a demutualized stock exchange, meaning the stock exchange will now go public. We'll have religious shares, can be, have shareholders, and can declare profit, and will become a company, perhaps sometime in the future. It will be quoted on its own exchange. This is one big news. It's been almost 27 years in the making so when the Nigerian Stock Exchange mooted the first plan to become a public stock exchange, just a little bit like South Africa and the Kenyan uh, Stock Exchange or the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Now we have the bill passed now by the National Assembly and the Stock Exchange, according to plan, will now move to a new beginning. This is uh, the story. The Stock Exchange uh, was started trading in 1961 just a little after independence in October of 1960. And now the stock exchange uh, uh, guaranteed by association or guaranteed by, limited by guarantee, that's what you call it, uh, a mutual exchange will now become a company limited by shares, will now become a PLC. That's what it means. Uh, watch out for the details uh, on the program. Uh, in our news as we move on. But we need to move on very quickly, and it's just about 48 hours. The Nigeria's Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, issues a statement of response to former President Obasi just Tuesday's special press release decrying the state of the economy, the political landscape, and the social cohesion. The uh, Minister of Information uh, says the administration of President Buhari has availed itself creditably as the economy was battered by two things, consequences of over-dependence on a commodity, we all know that is, crude oil, as well as unprecedented pillaging of the Treasury. Those were the two uh, key um, uh, issues mentioned broadly in that uh, response that was on television uh, yesterday. But what are the key economic success points or milestones of the current administration? And uh, we're just going to recap that very quickly uh, for you. Some of them are already uh, in the news, but we have a bit of uh, drill down into this database response uh, moving forward on the program from 10-15 this morning. The FX reserves, the administration says, is now at $40 billion from about $24 billion dollars when uh, about the two years ago. Headline inflation has been down 11 months consecutively to 15.37 last December. Then the Treasury single account, which we spoke about here yesterday, uh, the Minister of Information says that has stopped the hemorrhaging of the Treasury. Uh, and how, the, how does that happen? $108 billion, he said, has been saved from the removal of the maintenance fees on TSA to banks and others, while the federal government saved $27 billion every month using the Treasury single account. The Minister of Information went on to say that the government has been able to eliminate ghost workers and saved $120 billion, while capital inflows uh, into the country is around $1.8 billion as at uh, second quarter of 2017, using data from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Uh, the government also took ownership of the stock market and says the index was 40% plus last year and one of the world's best. In terms of the ease of doing business, Nigeria, according to the minister, was also up 24 basis points or 24 steps higher. That is much better in the ranking there, which was issued late last year. In the business of agriculture, uh, exports were said to be up 25% year on year. Solid minerals higher 78%. Raw materials export higher 70%. Manufactured goods exports up by 22%. Uh, the minister went on to list other achievements that include the customs reporting a higher revenue, uh, including JAMB, that's the Joint uh, Admission Matriculation, Matriculation Board. Uh, that's the uh, agency responsible for uh, examinations into the university, it says they've remitted 7.8 billion naira last year against 51 million naira, which JAMB declared to the government in six years. Back to agriculture. The Minister of Information says the rice production is now higher on Ancobos borrowers program of the central bank with 12 million farmers now on the field. Why rice imports down from specifically Thailand? The vice president mentioned that a few months ago before the end of last year, didn't he? Then on social investment program, the minister says this is the most ambitious program of such ever, feeding 5.2 million school children in 28,249 schools in 19 states across the Federation. 
the uh, response to uh, former president's uh, special press release include infrastructure investment, which the Minister of Information says is simply unprecedented. I didn't mention any figures there, not give uh, particular details uh, as well, others, but he said it's, it's quite unprecedented. Uh, power generation also, also at uh, an all-time high of 7,000 megawatts, and he says that all of that can be transmitted. Uh, he also went to mention the railway projects across the country, 25 routes, which has been funded uh, with the 100 billion Sukuk uh, bond. Uh, technically, in, in conclusion, uh, the Minister of Information says the administration is not unaware of the enormity of challenges facing the nation, but, quote, and unquote, we are up to the task. And that's the bottom line there. Let's uh, hang that in there for today, and then we're going to come back to that later on. Let's, uh, uh, let's get in, into the commodity space and agriculture was mentioned uh, in that response yesterday and of course energy which basically is between uh, the petrol, uh, diesel, kerosene on one side and electricity uh, on the other. Uh, let's get uh, Damilari uh, into this conversation from financial uh, derivatives. Good morning, it's good to have you. Good morning. Lisa. I'm sure you're watching the news. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, yes. Damilari, I came by me. This is the uh, a story around energy and agri in the consumer market. Uh, a few burning issues are coming through as we speak, and uh, one or two of them looks like very interesting to me. Yes. Okay, so um, the burning issues right now, we've seen that oil price, the global oil price, has crossed um, the $70 um, threshold. So it's currently around $71 per barrel, which, which is good news.